Okay, good morning. Welcome back to my series of video tutorials for building automation or building management system. Guys, today what I'm going to do is try to simulate my control logic program for the control of the chilled water pumps. Okay, now let me go first to the uh, full screen. Let's go to the full screen. Okay. Uh, Guys, uh, before uh, anything else, I would like to uh, invite you to join my uh, YouTube channel. If you want to avail a complete detailed tutorial, especially the control logic development or control logic programming of this uh, system, okay? Now guys, uh, as you can see here, I tried to write a control logic program wherein I will be able to simulate the operation of these heat exchangers and chilled water pumps. Okay. Now guys, as you can see here, uh, actually, uh, my program, my control logic program, or my control for the start and stop of these three, uh, three pumps, uh, I'm using the uh, my I/O module here, but for some points, I'm using some uh, software points just to simulate to you the operation because I don't have a motor control for these three pumps. Okay, now uh, to simulate the operation of these three pumps. Okay, by the way, the sequence of operation is two duty, two pumps, two duty, and one standby. As you can see here. I have here weekday simulation. Now, uh, based on my control logic program, I used a weekday block so that in every day I will try to uh, run different. Uh, I mean, I will do the sequencing based on a daily basis. Okay. So, as you can see here, my weekday simulation current value now is one. One is Monday. So, assuming today is Monday. So, during Monday, the pumps that will run will be pump one and pump two, okay? As I said, the setup will be two duty and one style by, meaning two duty pumps will be uh, running to uh, the deliver uh, excuse me, <coughs> chilled water up to the farthest uh, air handling unit or FTU, okay? So I already explained uh, the location of this uh, heat exchanger, okay? Now, uh, so two duty and one standby. As you can see here, I have two pumps running here. Pump one and pump two, okay? Then, as you can see also, based on the differential pressure, I have also differential pressure transmitter uh, installed across the main return line and supply line going to the load, okay? So I am at now the current reading there is 7.5. Then my control logic program will try to uh, maintain uh, speed reference for both pumps running. Okay, as you can see here, the speed reference is 36, 36.2, 36.2%. Okay, so that will be percent or 36% uh, of the full uh, RPM of the motor. Okay, now uh, as you can see, it is trying to slow down because my my differential pressure is way above the set point okay so it will try to uh, at least maintain the differential pressure reading as much as possible the same with the set point okay so that will be our control i'm using here a pid control proportional plus integral plus derivative control okay now, guys, uh, today is Monday, okay? So pump one and pump two is running, okay? Now, what will happen if one of the pumps trips? Okay, so let's try to simulate a trip condition, okay? So I have here the trip uh, signals for each pump, okay? Now, let's say pump one trips, what will be the response of my control logic program? So pump one trips, okay, then uh, actually the points are forced so that I can play with it. As I said, I don't have a motor control dedicated to the system, okay? That's why I'm trying to play with the signals. Okay? So this is one way of checking your control logic program. Then uh, you, can use, you can do this if you are in the design stage, if you want to check your control logic, but it's really 
working fine. Then after you check your control logic program, then that's the time you will try to bind your control logic program to the IO modules of your DDC and okay to the DDC and the pin devices. Okay. So here let's have a trip condition here. Okay. So my trip, I will say I have a trip. Okay. Okay, now pump one trip. Okay, so I have a trip alarm here. Okay, trip. Then what happens? My standby pump, which is pump three. As you can see, my control logic program tried to start this one. Okay, so <clears throat> even though day one or Monday pump one and pump two should be working, but if there is a problem with pump one or pump two, of course, the standby pump will kick in. Okay, now what will happen if I will reset? Let's say someone go to the field or your technician try to reset it. Okay, so again, pump one will run. Okay, now for the, basically you, as much as possible, you will be having here almost an equal wear and tear with your mechanical parts of the pumps, okay? Now, as you can see here, I'm also trying to record the run hours, okay? Now, actually, this is, uh, I just changed the unit to hours, but actually, this is in minutes, okay? So, Monday, it will be pump one and pump two. Okay, let's change the date. Let's simulate today is Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday is pump two and pump three, okay? So, pump two and pump three. Likewise, if there will be problem in one pump, of course, our standby pump, which is pump one, should kick in, okay? So let's just try to simulate the changing of days, okay? Now, let's say it is Wednesday, okay? So Wednesday, it will be pump one and pump three, okay? Then Thursday, it will be pump two and pump three. Friday, it will be pump one and pump two, the same with uh, Monday. Then uh, Saturday, it will be pump two and pump three. Then Sunday, it will be pump one and pump three. That is based on my control logic program, okay? Now, actually, my control logic program is working at the background, okay? So I'm inviting you to be a member of my channel so that I can show you, I can explain how the control logic program works. I will be doing a control, uh, I will be doing a video tutorial for that one for members, okay? So anyway, uh, if you're not a member, you can just see, you will be able to see how these things work if you will try to control only the pump. Okay, now maybe in my next tutorial, I will try to uh, control also because there might be also a requirement wherein you will control the uh, the bulb opening, okay, because I have here uh, one motorized bulb for the uh, load load side, the chip water going back to the uh, heat exchanger, okay. So maybe there will be also, of course, there will be also control in the uh, from the chiller side, okay. So here, my concern here is to control these three pumps and also. Maybe the next tutorial will be how to control the uh, butterfly bulb inlet, okay? Or I, I might control this, uh, the output valves, okay? Uh, it will be my next tutorial, okay? Now, guys, as you can see, in this heat exchanger, there will there is no uh, moving parts in this heat exchanger, okay? So there will be coil here inside then, uh, maybe the uh, this the chilled water coming from the load side will be going inside the coil inside here. Then uh, the water from the chillers will try to cool that uh, coil with chilled water. Okay, so there is no mixing of return water here from the supply chilled water here. Okay. So I think this will be, it depends on the design okay, of the mechanical. So guys, this is how you are going to uh, simulate your control logic program for the sequencing or for the uh, changeover of the pumps in a daily basis there. Okay, guys. 
So again, my differential pressure here, I can also play with my differential pressure. Let's say I will try to make it a little, okay. So let's say my differential pressure here, reading drops at 6.5, then my, uh, my PID controller for the speed reference will try to, uh, okay. Again, it will, I will simulate dropping below the set point then we expect this as you can see here my speed reference is increasing okay so meaning the pump will try to uh, increase its speed so that it will meet the set point 4.5 okay so 4.5 set point is the differential pressure difference across the pump which it will reach the farthest point now, don't worry with the values here for the set point because it will be uh, given by the mechanical people. First, they will need they need to check their system manually. They will check what will be the uh, differential pressure set point that they will provide to the control engineer or the BMS engineer so that you will be the one to, uh, that, that value will be used here in your control logic program. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video clip. And I hope I have given you a complete idea. How are you going to uh, sequence your three pumps, these cheat water pumps, based on a daily, based on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay. So instead of using run hours, I'm using here day-to-day uh, -day basis because uh, it is more easy to control these three pumps. Okay. Now, guys, before I end my tutorial, thank you very much for watching this. And I do hope uh, I'm giving an information or I'm giving an idea to new engineers. Okay, I'm referring to new engineers, mechanical and other engineering courses who are wishing to join building management system or building automation. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, before I will end, I will always say God bless us all. And uh, bye for now.